Betty Boop began in the 1930s. She was designed as a French poodle then later changed her appearance to become more female-like. She eventually became a sex symbol and attracted the male audience with her desirable body. She is seen as a wild person who represented women and during the flapper era. However, she is also seen as a vulnerable woman who is dependent on men whenever she lands into trouble. After the Hays Code was put into place in 1934, Betty was forced to dress more appropriately which drove off the male audience. World War II came and drastically changed women's employment. Rosie the Riveter became a role model for many women as this encouraged them to start working especially in manufacturing jobs, this gave women a sense of hope and pride. With women working, the economy grew extensively. However, after the war men were taken back their old jobs which forced women out and back to becoming housewives. Wilma Flintstone came around in the 1960s and is considered to be a level-headed housewife. Her role was to cook for her husband, clean and take care of her child. These were the common roles that women had to deal with in the 60s. An example of where we see this is from the opening of the TV show Bewitched where the main character Samantha is seen cooking for her husband. This lead to the second wave of feminism which tackles the issues of women demanding equal opportunities in the workplace. A few years ago, it was a joke. People laughed at us. They don't laugh at us anymore. They take us very seriously. And we know that we're just at the point where we're really getting through to the national consciousness. Shira was created in the 1980s. She first appeared in He-Man and Shira, The Secret of the Sword then later ended up having her own TV show. However, the show only lasted a year and was seen as a way for companies to make toys and merchandise in order to gain more money. Despite this, she was seen as a role model to women and one of the first women to be a superhero. Shira is portrayed to be a powerful and courageous hero who brings justice. She is very similar to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was the first DC superhero to be released in 1941. Just like Shira, Wonder Woman became a huge inspiration to women around the world. She is a symbol for truth justice, peace and has immense power. Although she was released almost 80 years ago, she still continues to be one of the most iconic characters in the world with people putting her face on toys, cereal boxes and more. Jessica was released in the 1980s and became another sex symbol that attracted the male audience. Her famous line that she says is, I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Jessica seems like an adaption to the male gaze by having a similar body to Betty Boop with the same attraction. I consider both of these characters to be drawn as a femme fatale, who are mysterious and seductive women who charm men and lead them into traps. Tank Girl became a new kind of female fiction. She represented as a chaotic and rebellious character who would do things her own way and never would listen to anyone. She also represented as having a punk lifestyle with her bright hair colors, short clothing and her changing hairstyles. The third and possibly the last wave of feminism happened around the 1990s and brought issues like sexual abuse to light. Anita Hill was the first woman to publicly testify about her sexual harassment experience she had with a Supreme Court judge, Clarence Thomas. Anita Hill's case became a starting point for many women to open up about their sexual abuse experiences which created the Me Too movement. Sexual abuse wasn't the only thing that sparked the third wave, punk culture was also another event that occurred which was about women acting rebellious to prove that they were capable of anything. Some big female punk bands that encouraged this were, Riot Girl, Bratmobile and Bikini Kill. Lara Croft came out in 1996 from the Tomb Raider franchise. Then later released into a movie. She is an archaeologist who ventures to different ruins and ancient tombs around the world. She is portrayed to be an education, idealized and strong woman. Although Lara is considered to be a sex symbol for the size of her breasts, she became the first female lead to be in video game, which lead other characters like Ellie from The Last of Us and Jill Valentine from Resident Evil to be able to follow a similar path to her. Lara Croft became a huge impact to gaming culture. Although there are many female characters people look up to, not every female character is a good or heroic character. This is where Catwoman comes in. She was released in 1940 and is the first female DC supervillain with an actual femme fatale persona. Unlike Jessica Rabbit who had the look of a femme fatale. She is one of many villains like Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Not a lot of people look up to Catwoman as a role model because she isn't meant to be a likable character. However, many people still love Catwoman because of her relationship with Batman but also, due to the fact she isn't a villain nor hero but rather focuses on her selfish needs.
my generation grew up seeing women on screen and so, we do not really tend to reflect on the past as much because we are facing the future. Through this period of time, the way women are portrayed has transitioned over the years, and not just in animation, TV or film. This has been influenced through the rise of the feminism movement, where women overall have progressed in many different ways. For example, women now have access to higher education, recognized abilities in previously male-dominated industries, earning equal pay as men, and more importantly, have their right to vote and make individual decisions relating to pregnancy and abortion. From this, my belief of feminism is its key cornerstone that is women encouraging other women to branch out and empower themselves in a nurturing way, where we should bring them up instead of pushing them down. To celebrate being a woman, where if women never really had an established role, how would the world function today?